Is the Flux model just hype or a step in the right direction for text to image models? This will be the simplest workflow to get Flux running by using the Flux Dev model as a checkpoint along with the default Comfy UI workflow. To get started, let's open up Comfy UI with a blank canvas. The first node required is the Load Checkpoint node. So right click to add a node, go to Loaders, select Load Checkpoint. Secondly, we also need to input the positive prompt for the image. Right click to add a node, go to Conditioning, we select the Clip Text and Code node. Also, I'll change the color here to green as the positive prompt. Next to the K sampler node, I'll right click to add a node again, go to sampling and choose the K sampler. For the image size, we need the empty latent image node. Right click once again, go to the latent and select the empty latent image. Before we connect all of the nodes, let's go get the flags dev model for the load checkpoint node. So visit the page here by Comfy Anonymous and scroll down until you see the simple to use FP8 checkpoint version. And to use the dev model, this will be saved into the Comfy UI directory as a checkpoint. So this will be similar to any SD 1.5 model or SD Excel model. So right click here to download the model, which will be on Hagen Face. Uh, this is a 17 gig file size, but this is a lot better compared to the unit model. So these checkpoints are also in the form of save tensors. So click here to download and save it into your Comfy UI directory. We go under models, we find a checkpoint folder, we save this here and I already have mine downloaded here. Next, we go back to the page and you can also do the same for the Chanel model. The Chanel model is faster to generate images since it uses one to four steps. However, it is less powerful compared to the flag step model. Click here to go to the Hugging Face page. Once again, download the Safe Tensor model and save it into the same folder we used earlier. So I have both of the Flux models here, which is the dev model and also the Chanel model. Once all of this is saved, head back to Comfy UI, refresh the canvas to update the models. Scrolling down until I see the model, I have both of them here and I'll select the Flux dev model. You can go ahead to choose whatever you may go for. I'll also zoom out here and I'll change the image size to an SD XL resolution, which will be 1024 by 1024. So let's connect all of the nodes to test the flag dev model so far. Firstly, connect the model output from the load checkpoint into the K sampler node. I'll drag the clip into the positive prompt. Before the positive prompt into the K sampler node, double click to search for the node which is flag guidance and select this right here. This is required before we connect the positive prompt into the K sampler. The positive then goes into the flags guidance node and then into the K sampler node. I'll zoom into the K sampler. The only setting to be monitored here is the CFG scale. So going back to the page, it states here, make sure to set CFG to 1.0. So let's do that for the CFG and set this to 1.0. So next I'll go ahead to change the seed from here to 50 and I'm going to leave everything else at default. The Eurla can be the same as it is and you guys can always experiment with which sampler name you want to go for. So I'll zoom out here and next I'll connect the empty latent image to the K sampler. From the K sampler we need a VAE decode so drag this out for the VAE decode node to process all of this into an image. Then we need a save image node for the final output. I'll make this a bit bigger and place it under the VAE decode node. So basically, this is a replica of the default workflow in Comfy UI, only using the checkpoint node as the dev model from Flux. So let's zoom in here and I'm going to type in a positive prompt to use the Flux dev model to see the outcome of what we have so far. I'll use the Q prompt to see if all of the nodes are correctly connected. It seems I forgot a few connections. The Flux K sampler still requires the negative input connection to process the image. I'll close this here, zoom out, drag this node down. I'll duplicate the positive prompt, right click here and I'll change this to the color red to use as our negative prompt. From here, I'll drag from the clip output into the negative prompt. So highlight the text here and delete this. So now the negative prompt goes into the K sampler since we do not need a negative prompt using Flux, I'm going to right click, then choose Collapse. Next year, I'm going to drag the VAE output and also I'll use the reroute feature to follow the path 
which goes all the way into the VAE decode node. I'm sure we got everything sorted now, so let's hit the Q prompt once again to see our first image from the Flux model. All right, so finally we have this working. This is awesome. I didn't get this image right away. It took a long processing time for the first image before completion. And I'm hoping this will be sorted out shortly as most of you experienced from the previous comments. However, after this, all your image generations will be way faster and quicker. You only need to be patient for the first generation process. So zooming in here, another alternative for the empty latent image is the empty SD3 latent image node. I'm not sure if this makes a huge difference, but this is recommended for the Flux workflow. So let's test this out as well to see the results. I'll bypass this for now. Also, let's change the seed to fixed so we don't miss the seed number every time. So I'll kill from once again using the SD3 latent image node to see the results. So the changes are not too drastic. The model still follows the prompt precisely. Even with this basic workflow, I still love the quality and resolution from the Flux dev model. I still want to push this a bit further. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'll delete this and keep this as recommended. Also, let's try another image generation in a 16 by 9 ratio. Change the width uh, to be 1344 and also the height to be 768. Down with the batch size, I'm going to put this at 4. I'll scroll up to the positive node, highlight to delete this here. I have a prompt here including a text and I'm curious to see how the dev model performs with the text input. So let's test it out to see the results. I'll hit Q prompt. Let's see our first text generation with this simple Flux Dev workflow. All right, so this is looking amazing. The text here is well executed with no typos. It only missed the dev text here with the second batch image. I'm still very impressed. I feel this model has a lot to be uncovered with good prompting. I still spent some time improving the prompt which I had earlier with more descriptive words. This enhanced the final result using the Flux Dev model to arrive at the final image. The time generation using 20 steps took 631 seconds. So it's approximately 10 minutes, 31 seconds in all. So I hope this was helpful for you guys starting up with the dev model using the simple default Comfy UI workflow. If you are still looking to do a deep dive into the initial setup and using the unit models with the Chanel model, you can watch this video guide right here. Don't forget to leave a like as always and I'll see you guys in the next video.